some basic concepts of chemistry. Reproduction or procreation is the biological process by which new individual organisms or offspring are produced from their parents. Reproduction is a fundamental feature of all known life. Each individual organism exists as the result of reproduction. The known methods of reproduction are broadly grouped into two main types, sexual and asexual. Let's study this in detail. After completing this digital learning module, learners will be able to explain the types of reproduction, understand the types of asexual reproduction, explain the steps involved in sexual reproduction, understand the process of fertilization. Reproduction is defined as the production of individuals of the same species, that is the next generation of the species. While it is one of the fundamental characteristics of living things, it is not an essential life process. An individual can live without reproducing, but a species cannot survive without reproduction. There are basically two types of reproduction, asexual and sexual. This classification is based on the number of participating organisms. Asexual reproduction involves only single parent and the offspring is genetically similar to the parent. The sexual reproduction involves two parents of opposite sex and fusion of male and female gametes. It does not involve the fusion of gametes, also called sex cells. There are many types of asexual reproduction, all producing individuals that are genetically and morphologically identical to the parent. Fission Fission occurs in lower plants and animals with relatively simple organizations such as the bacteria, blue-green algae and protozoa. In this process, the cell divides after the genetic material has divided. The DNA or the nucleus of a mature cell divides first and then the cell divides into two halves and each rapidly grows into an adult. It is seen in bacteria and protozoans like amoeba and paramecium. Budding it is seen in certain fungi and few multicellular animals. In budding, the parent cell or body outgrows a lateral bud. The nucleus divides and one of the daughter nuclei passes into the daughter cell. The bud grows in size while being attached to the parent body and eventually it gets separated from the parent by the formation of a wall. It then falls off and germinates into a new individual. Thus, budding results in the formation of daughter cells of unequal sizes that later grow to adult size. For example, yeast, a fungus and hydra, a multicellular animal. In case of hydra, the daughter hydra even develops hypostome and tentacles develop around the hypostome before being detached from the parent body. Spore formation it is generally seen in bacteria and most fungi. One of the cells enlarge and form the sporangium spore sac. The nucleus divides many times and then the daughter nuclei are surrounded with protoplasm bits to form daughter cells called spores. The spores are covered with a thick wall called the cyst. On maturation, the sporangium bursts and releases the spores. The spores germinate on getting favorable conditions. Example fungi such as muca and rhizopus. Spore formation also occurs in bacteria such as Clostridium and Bacillus. The bacterial spores are also called endospores. They are thick-walled and lightweight. Fragmentation. It takes place in some lower plants and animals such as some worms. The mature organism breaks up into two or more fragments. The fragments then grow into complete organisms. 
vegetative propagation. Regeneration of new plants from the vegetative parts of the parent plant is called vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction. It is done without the production of seeds and spores but with the help of vegetative parts such as roots, stem or leaves. Vegetative propagation produces the next generation that is genetically identical to the parent. An organism that is genetically and morphologically identical to the parent is called a clone. In case of plants with advantageous characteristics, the characteristics can be preserved by producing clones. This is particularly useful to agriculturalists and horticulturalists in order to get the best crop and uniform yield every time. Some vegetative propagules Runner oxalis, rhizome ginger, bulbil agave, tuber potato, offset water hyacinth, pistia, bulb onion garlic, leaf buds bryophyllum, sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction mostly occurs in higher multicellular plants and animals. It is also seen in some lower organisms like the bacteria, spirogyra and paramecium. For sexual reproduction, plants have structures called the flowers. Sexual reproduction is seen in mostly all animals. In animals, reproduction involves formation of gametes that are haploid cells. Fusion of these gametes leads to the formation of zygote which develops into a new organism. In unicellular organisms like the protozoans, the gamete producing individuals are called gametocytes. Events in sexual reproduction can be grouped in three stages pre-fertilization, fertilization and post-fertilization. In both plants and animals, hormones are responsible for the transitions between these three stages. After attainment of maturity, all sexually reproducing organisms display events and processes that have remarkable fundamental similarity even though the structures associated with sexual reproduction are indeed very different. The events of sexual reproduction, though elaborate and complex, follow a regular sequence. Sexual reproduction is characterized by the fusion or fertilization of the male and female gametes, the formation of zygote and embryogenesis. Pre-fertilization Gametogenesis It is the process of formation of haploid male and female gametes. Gametes may be homogametes, isogametes or heterogametes. In heterogametes, the male gamete is called antherozoid or sperm and the female gamete is called the ovum. If the parent body is haploid, gametes are formed by mitosis and if diploid, gametes are formed by meiosis. An organism may be homothalic or monoecious or heterothalic dioecious. Gamete transfer Fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization. Male and female gamete must be brought together. In some organisms, both gametes are motile, algae, but in most cases male gamete is motile, whereas female is not. Algae, bryophytes and pteridophytes, water are the medium for gamete transfer. Pollination is the method of gamete transfer in higher plants as pollen grains contain male gametes. The number of male gametes is thousand times the number of female gametes as there is loss of male gametes during transfer. In dioecious animals, there is special mechanism for gamete transfer, syngamy and fertilization. Fusion of gametes is called syngamy or fertilization. It results in the formation of diploid zygote. In some animals like rotifers, honeybees, some lizards and birds, turkey, female gametes develop into organism without fertilization. Such a phenomenon is called parthenogenesis. When the fusion of the male and female gamete occurs within the female genital tract, it is called internal fertilization. 
The fusion of the gametes occurs outside the body of the animal, is called external fertilization and it is common in aquatic animals. Zygote. Zygote is the vital link that ensures continuity of species between organisms of one generation and the next. Every sexually reproducing organism, including human beings, begin life as a single cell, the zygote. Embryogenesis. Embryogenesis refers to the process of development of embryo from the zygote. During embryogenesis, zygote undergoes cell division, mitosis and cell differentiation. In oviparous animals like reptiles and birds, the fertilized eggs covered by hard calcareous shell are laid in a safe place in the environment. After a period of incubation, young ones hatch out. In viviparous animals, majority of mammals including human beings, the zygote develops into a young one inside the body of the female organism. After attaining a certain stage of growth, the young ones are delivered out of the body by the female organism. In plants, zygote is formed inside ovule where it develops into embryo then ovule becomes seed and ovary into fruit germination of seeds produces new plants let us summarize what we have learned reproduction is defined as the production of individuals of the same species that is the next generation of the species an individual can live without reproducing but a species cannot survive without reproduction there are basically two types of reproduction asexual and sexual asexual reproduction does not involve the fusion of gametes also called sex cells there are many types of asexual reproduction all producing individuals that are genetically identical to the parent fission occurs in lower plants and animals such as the bacteria blue green algae and protozoa if the parent cell divides into many daughter cells it is called multiple fission the parent cell may get covered by a protective coat called the cyst which bursts to release the daughter cells during favorable condition multiple fission is also seen in clymadomonas and algae in budding the parent cell or body gives out a lateral outgrowth called the bud Spore formation is generally seen in bacteria and most fungi. Spore formation also occurs in bacteria such as Clostridium and Bacillus. The bacterial spores are also called endospores. Fragmentation takes place in some lower plants and animals such as some worms. Regeneration of new plants from the vegetative parts of the parent plant is called vegetative propagation or vegetative reproduction. The offsprings are genetically identical in asexual reproduction and therefore advantageous traits can be preserved. Only one parent is required which eliminates the need for special mechanisms such as pollination etc. Sexual reproduction mostly occurs in higher multicellular plants and animals. The plants that sexually reproduce have the reproductive structures called the flowers. In animals, reproduction involves production of gametes that are haploid cells. In both plants and animals, hormones are responsible for the transitions between the three phases of sexual reproduction. After attainment of maturity, all sexually reproducing organisms exhibit event and processes that have remarkable fundamental similarity, even though the structures associated with sexual reproduction are indeed very different. Gametogenesis is the process of formation of haploid male and female gametes. Fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization. It results in the formation of diploid zygote. In some animals like rotifers, honeybees, some lizards and birds, turkey, female gametes develop into organism without fertilization. Such a phenomenon is called parthenogenesis. Formation of the diploid zygote is universal in all sexually reproducing organisms. Animals may be either oviparous or viviparous.